It's time to enroll in healthcare coverage. Consumers can now purchase private health insurance coverage on healthcare.gov. It's the annual open enrollment period, and it runs November 1st through December 15th. And this is for health coverage that begins January 1st, 2021. The Affordable Care Act became the law of the land back in 2010, making sweeping changes to health coverage options, consumer protections, especially for individuals with pre-existing conditions, and the cost of insurance. The Affordable Care Act also created new ways to buy insurance with what is called the Health Insurance Marketplace or healthcare.gov. It also created new financial assistance opportunities, overall helping to make insurance accessible and affordable for many previously uninsured individuals. Comprehensive health care coverage can get you to the health care you need and deserve and enrolling in coverage, whether it be a private insurance plan, a Medicaid option, or in the state of Wisconsin, Badger Care Plus, can give you the peace of mind, prevent gaps in coverage, and maybe prevent surprise medical bills, and keep your family healthy. So let's talk about who's eligible. Are you eligible to enroll in a marketplace plan? Well, almost everyone is eligible to enroll in a marketplace plan, except people who are already enrolled in Medicare or if you are not lawfully present in the United States. That's the first threshold of eligibility. What about financial assistance? Well, you could be eligible for a marketplace plan and also qualify for either advanced premium tax credits or cost sharing reductions, either of which would help bring down the cost of your insurance. Now, an advanced premium tax credit is a subsidy to reduce the amount of your premium. Household incomes between 100% of the federal poverty level and 400% of the federal poverty level determined at the time of application will be eligible. And it's based on anticipated income during the year, reconciled against your income at tax time. Those cost sharing reductions are savings on out of pocket expenses. Your household income to be eligible for a cost sharing reduction to bring down the cost of deductibles or co pays is 100% of the federal poverty level to 250% of the federal poverty level. And you must purchase a silver tier marketplace plan to qualify. Now, keep in mind financial assistance is not available if you have access to what is called minimum essential coverage. That means other insurance that is considered to be sufficient. And that could be an insurance you get through your job, could be a Medicaid plan that's comprehensive. You could still be eligible for a marketplace plan as secondary insurance. You just might not qualify for the extra tax subsidies or cost sharing reductions. How do you know if you should apply for a marketplace plan or Medicaid? Well, in theory, there is a no wrong door option. If you start at healthcare.gov, it'll generally assess your eligibility for a marketplace plan. If you're too low of income, it will batch your application to your state. It's not foolproof, so you're going to want to make sure you follow up and get help when you can to make sure you are being enrolled in the correct program. Let's say you already had a marketplace plan in 2020. Do you need to take any steps during open enrollment? The answer is generally yes. Now, auto renewal is available. That means you will be enrolled in the same or similar plan to what you had this year if you take no steps at all during open enrollment. However, that should be a last resort. Review what is available for 2021 during the open enrollment period because plans change. Even if you like your plan, it might be different in 2021. Prices change. The premiums could go up. The deductibles could go up. You want to make sure that you're knowing what you're getting into and what you're purchasing. And most importantly, networks change. If you like your doctors, they might not be part of the plan you had last year. Finally, you change. Your income could change. Your family size could change. Your address you want to make sure you're proactively logging in to healthcare.gov to make sure your information is current and to make sure you're purchasing the health plan you suspected you would be getting that covers your needs of your family. There are multiple ways to apply for private health insurance coverage during this open enrollment period. First, 
healthcare.gov. That is the federal marketplace. Several states have their own state-based marketplaces. The information might be a little different as for timing of open enrollment periods. Some states run much longer than the federal marketplace open enrollment period. But generally, you can get started on healthcare.gov. It's going to ask you enough questions to determine if you should be using the federal marketplace. And if it identifies you're in a different state, it will send you to the correct information. You can call the call center at healthcare.gov. We put that information in the description below. You can also send in a paper application. It's still an option. You can start at healthcare.gov, print the information, and send it by U.S. mail. Recommended is to do the entire process online. It's trackable. It's fast. You can preview and scan and compare options quite easily. You can also apply in person, and this year in person looks a little different. It is still talking to a real person, but it might be virtually on the phone, by a computer connection. It won't necessarily be face-to-face -face like in years before. You can find help near you by visiting healthcare.gov. They have a find local help feature. We link to that in the description below. If you are in Wisconsin and you need help, you can always visit wiscovered.com to find an assister near you. Now, when you apply for healthcare coverage at healthcare.gov, you're going to answer questions about your household, about your income. You're going to learn about premium costs or for assistance paying for insurance, or see if you qualify for a free or low cost coverage through a Medicaid program. It's the best time of year to get started taking stock of the healthcare coverage your family needs and being ready for 2021.